things are great. You know, we've been growing our business over the past couple of years. We shifted our focus um, on working with celebrities and brands to build influencer networks around them. So really, you know, working with them on their websites and their Facebook and their Twitter and their YouTube channels, kind of taking what we learned producing our own shows, Lonely Girl 15 and Kate Modern, and taking those various different techniques and applying it to celebrity influencers online. Well, we work with a whole bunch of people, uh, Paula Dean, Alicia Silverstone, Lauren Conrad, um, just launched with Nick Cannon most recently. Um, and done some huge brand campaigns working with Philadelphia Cream Cheese. We did a big thing with Paula Deen in Philly called Real Women of Philadelphia. That was a huge success for Kraft. We um, increased sales of cream cheese in the U.S. by 5%, which is kind of extraordinary. Um, and that campaign's been renewed for two years. Uh, working with Walgreens on a big walking campaign. And we have a whole bunch of other both brand and celebrity networks uh, in the pipeline right now. How do you deal with the creative process? In other words, is it something that an advertiser comes to you and how do you make it, you know, editorially valid and not, you know, an advertorial? Like, how is that balance achieved? Um, yeah, I mean, in terms of the creative process, it, it, de it depends on which path we're working down. When we're working directly with the celebrity talent to build out their site and manage their social media channels, it's just purely driven by their brand and their creative and finding their voice and using sort of their messaging to drive that. When we're working with a brand like Kraft or with Walgreens, it's really driven by a request for a proposal that comes from the brand and from the agency. And honestly, you, you just have to treat it like you would treat any piece of content and really find that emotional core and that spark of creativity that makes it fun and engaging for an audience. I think that if you're providing value for the audience, then um, it doesn't feel like an ad. So like for the Philly competition, it was you know a cooking competition online. Uh, women submitted video recipes of them cooking with cream cheese from around the country. And four of them won $25,000 each, which is pretty incredible. Similarly, for the walking campaign with Walgreens, we're giving away weekly prizes and really encouraging people to improve their health through walking, reconnect with their community, et cetera. Our company really works across the spectrum of paid, earned, um, and owned media. So if you look at the celebrity side of our business, the media networks, we launch a website on a celebrity URL, so laurenconrad.com. We're managing her site, her Twitter, her Facebook, her YouTube, so you can also find her on those various different social platforms as well. So we really want to get out to where the audience is. We want to produce content that's reaching across all those channels. We want to drive that audience back to their hub, back to their website. So for a brand, they can engage that audience, Lauren Conrad's audience, by paying for advertorial uh, placement, basically, and different sponsorships of the site. But additionally, we can work with a large brand like a Walgreens or a Kraft. We can build a whole community for them, which really is more of the own media spectrum where they can actually own that audience. And then finally, there's all this ancillary benefit that they get because they're working across social media. So when Lauren is pumping out content or when Paula is pumping out content that's related to these campaigns, people are liking it, they're sharing it, etc. And that's driving additional earned engagement back to that campaign. I think Web Originals is, is still a massively growing market. Um, you know, for us as a business, we decided to focus on working with celebrities to help take our learnings from the Web Original world and bring it really to um, people who, as an individual, had an audience and had a brand. Um, I think that as the revenue goes up and up and up in terms of the ad dollars and other ways of making money online, I think Web Originals will see an even bigger um, resurgence. It's challenging, obviously, producing a show online if you're not making money off of it. And I think that because the uh, industry is really in, in its infancy, it's going to take a little bit for it to truly take off on the level that like, you know, indie film finally took off in the 90s. From a branded content standpoint, you know, we're doing uh, you know, millions of dollars and hitting literally tens of millions of people through these large campaigns with Kraft and Walgreens, um, Smart Balance, etc.